Hi guys, welcome to IT Network in how to download MSCI MPG Z790 Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi driver download. So this is your motherboard. So search on as it is on the Google search box to right click to new tab. Slow down. Select the driver first if you have a check the warranty and all that they are available. BIOS drivers firmware first drivers then you select your operating system Windows 10 and 11 here to download the system chipset drivers, visual drivers, audio drivers, LAN driver and SATA and other so one by one one by one download first chipset system chipset ok select this click to download when it is completed to single click to open open this folder and that is the setup of chipset.exe double click to open and click to run then click to yes next accept and install then this, that is installing so try to download next onboard visual driver means display driver same click to download this is start almost it is size Now it is completed to single click to open. Open this folder and that is installations. That is the driver. Back and that is installation ex to double click to launch and then click to run. Yes. Then click to Windows install. Click setup. So that is a coming the error. That's why it's actually that motherboard is this not Intel system. So that's why it's coming. So no issue next next to install and then try to different audio driver so it is the same click to download wait few seconds so double click to open again open this folder and again run, run this to setup then click to yes This is tool dear. So we have to download the universal driver. Again, need to download. Do not download this ones. This is actually audio tool for firmware update like this. So open this. Open the drivers. Find out setup. Click to yes. Now this is the audio driver is installing. No, I will restart my computer later to click and finish. Then LAN driver. This is Wi-Fi driver. This is Bluetooth driver. This is network LAN driver. So guys, we have to download one by one. First, Wi-Fi driver need to download.
is complete. So open the Wi-Fi driver. Now we need to open the folder. So then uwd to open. Win64 install it and this it is drag up. So double click to launch. Then next Bluetooth driver click to download. Then open this folder again open that is a Bluetooth driver. Then I already installed that version. Click to yes. Click to WWE and then I click to next. This is also installing. So then install LAN driver. Again open. Open this folder. This is LAN driver AXE. Yes, and here to show install, click to install and close it. Then SATA. So that is the tools to download the repair. So and that is other. This is if required to download. Then driver and BIOS firmware is also available. So that is the file firmware. So click to download and launch. So we update the BIOS also. This is BIOS. Click to download. This is the latest BIOS. So second step guys if your downloaded drivers is not installing so you can run forcefully how to so firstly open the file manage file explorer this PC so then go to download which is you downloaded the folder so this is all select okay, right click to copy and create a folder on the desktop and any locations and paste okay and then right click to extract here one by one extract all and same locations down uh, desktop driver Okay, then second extract all tools, X stop, S stop, drivers, and select the code. and then extract. So this is LAN driver, this is also LAN driver, this is Ultra, LANG and this is Bluetooth, PT means Bluetooth drivers, chipset driver, network driver, Wi-Fi driver and audio driver and real the audio drivers. And this is not required so I did it. So what is the next step? Right click to Windows button and then go to device manager. Okay, and 
suppose you have to upgrade the LAN drive. Okay. So what is the LAN? The network. This is your LAN. Here to show the Wi-Fi. So select to your Wi-Fi driver. So right click, upgrade, browse locally, browse and go to desktop. desktop driver select this and that is not show because this is uh, not extract this is that's why it's not showing if you extract the show here select this drive and then next and next and then close so that is a display driver so as you one by one try require only display first second network okay and then chipset also their processor this is chipset and wi-fi also next audio driver okay and then restart finally it is reinstalled okay. thank you